Los Angeles Chargers at the Cleveland Browns. This one has come down a lot since the games ended on Sunday night. Uh, it was Cleveland <laughs> minus, um, it was uh, the Chargers minus three and a half. Now down to two. Yeah. Uh, more money on the Browns than Should tickets, be. Uh, which is interesting to me. This to me feels like an overreaction to the Browns. Like he, people are either deciding, <laughs> okay, the Browns are finally going to be the Browns that we expect them to be. Their defense is getting healthy. They're going yeah. to be dominant. And Jameis is going to play the way Kevin Stefanski, who I think is a great coach and has just gotten kind of screwed with this Deshaun Watson bullshit. He finally gets a guy who's closer to what he needs. I'm going to go back to two plays. Jameis fumble from a sack late in the first half gives the Ravens uh, the lead 10, six in that game. Jameis overthrowing a receiver, Kyle Hamilton, just dropping the ball uh, that would have ended the Browns chances to win that game. I am worried. I will get that Jameis and in a closer game. I don't know if I can afford those kind of mistakes. Yeah, I think the professional early money though was was smart. It was the right side. You should take they should have take Jameis as a three point dog or a three and a half point dog at home against this Chargers team that I agree with you. Their whole identity is we wait for you to make the mistake and that's how we win. Like they just they don't make the mistakes. They hang in these games, these ugly games, and then eventually they get you because they have a great running attack and Herbert, who we know is one of the better quarterbacks in the league, he's just inconsistent. But this year, they can hide that with a great running offense. You don't need Joe you know, Justin Herbert to be a top five guy right now. That's the Chargers identity is like, okay, we don't need to have the ball in this guy's hands all the time. We can rely on other guys and a little bit of a little bit of gimmick, right? A lot of their offense, because they don't have great receivers, it's a lot of gimmick offense, a lot of motion, a lot of just trying to get their third tight end wide open for a five yard completion. Like that's what their identity has been and it's been working. So um, you're right to me that the numbers come down enough now where I could be on this charger side, but I'm not in a rush yep. to bet it. I think the public will keep coming in with the professionals on this Cleveland side, just because these are pretty, honestly, pretty evenly matched teams, Chad. Like when I break this down, you know, I have this number at chargers minus one. So right now I am showing value on the Browns, but you just nailed it. I feel like I got away with one last week with James. Yeah. Like there was just a couple plays, like you said, and that was the best game we could get from Jameis. He threw for over 300 yards. He was just locked in in that second half. And, you know, that drop by Kyle Hamilton, that, that's why our money line hit on this Browns team. Like they should not have won that game. The guy literally caught that three different times. He caught it three different times and still somehow dropped it. Um, so you're right. Like I, I got to put my bias aside because I do want to take the Browns here. It's like I feel like they have a whole new rejuvenation here, and they know they can kind of not get their season back, but they can. Like there is a path for them to somehow get to a wild card, and to get there, they have to win this game. So um, you know, I, I wanted to be on the Browns, but you're right. The numbers probably move too much. Uh, even though I'm still showing value on the Browns here, it's. It's going to hit a point where it's like, I, I'm going to feel more confident and comfortable taking this Chargers team. So I'll just be patient here, wait for this number to keep coming down. I'll take the Chargers team that makes you make mistakes. And this is the perfect opportunity for them to play against a team with Jameis Winston. I'm glad you say that. Because in the notes here, I wrote, at this point, I'm starting to lean Chargers. Like, I haven't bet it yet. But I look at the Chargers and I, I just feel like they're competent. You know, yeah. they're not they're not making the game changing mistakes. They're winning the games. They're supposed to win. Uh, don't listen, Lad McConkey. But if they, they're the type of team too, if they get down ten here, you know they're dead. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but I think it's I think it'll be really hard for them to get down ten. Yeah. Uh, and I look like the Ravens defense and the Ravens secondary is the perfect antidote to Jameis Winston's <laughs> craziness. Yeah. You know, like he can look great against a secondary like that. I don't think that it'll be the same outcome playing against a Chargers defense. So um, I, I'm leaning Chargers, but we're not there yet. No. We're not there yet. 